Good afternoon, Kurt Capper here with your daily recap for this Monday, July 10th. Hope you guys had a great trading day. And you know, it was it was overall a productive session after pushing higher in the morning. Markets were mostly flat throughout the afternoon, but again, as I said, we were able to close up here once again and we'll see how this is able to follow through into tomorrow or not. But basically, you can see here we're still just range bound on the S&P. We were able to reclaim some of these moving averages here back above the uh, the 8, still right around the 21. Either way, though, we're just intersecting, overlapping those moving averages. And anytime that's the case, it's just a, a pure indication of indecision. So we'll have to see how this plays out, as I said, over the coming days. Looking at the Qs, they were able to reclaim the 8 and 50 day, still below the 21. But again, they have shown a bit more sign of life here. And we'll see if they can push up some more or it's going to react in this area here of resistance turning back down. So it's going to be an important next couple days here to see how this all plays out. Looking at IBB, you can see here it's staying below this descending trend line here, but at the same time holding these recent lows and coming coming into or, or allowing the 21 EMA to play catch up here, possibly getting this ready to break higher over the uh, next couple days. So definitely going to want to keep an eye on this one here as this could be a real good indicator as to the strength or weakness that we get here with regard to the Qs. As far as financials, because this is the other major sector that we want to be keeping an eye on here, you've got the financials still sitting sideways here as it consolidates above the rising 8 and 21 day. So if it breaks above these recent highs, call it, you know, 25 and a quarter here as, as the main level. But if it gets above that, then you look for the next push higher. So far, it's holding up really well after the recent move higher that we saw about a week and a half ago. So we'll keep an eye out for that. As far as some other sectors, oil still under pressure. It was able to uh, get a little bit of a, a positive close there, closing up just a bit, but uh, still nonetheless weak overall. And we'll have to keep a close eye on today's high and low a break on either side of that would indicate uh, some further movement. Ideally, in my opinion, the break is to the downside because that's the path of least resistance right now. And we'll see if we get that. So keep an eye on USO. As far as gold, this one, after breaking under this recent support level, got a little bit of a bounce here today. So that's, that's normal. After a greater than 100% retracement, you expect there to be a brief pause. Now, the next level is going to be down around this 114 area. So that, that's the next level to look at. And quite frankly, I think that we will break below that because of how far away it is. And the fact that we've tested it once coming down above it here, uh, middle of May. And then again, we've tested it here more recently. So while we may get a little reaction here, ultimately, I do believe, as I said, we continue to move lower. And then also taking a quick look at the transports, this is another good barometer or, or measure of the overall strength or lack thereof in terms of the economy. And as you can see here, this is also holding up well. So if it can continue moving higher, that bodes well for the economy today. Bit of an inside day, not really going anywhere, but still within the construct of an uptrend. So we'll look for it to continue moving higher overall. Um, as far as some individual names, you know, we had Tesla, which got a little bit of a pause here today as it came into this support. So could get another little day two higher in this one. We'll have to keep an eye on it. But uh, as far as retail, I mean, it, it can't stay out of the news. You had Abercrombie and Fitch, ANF, gapping down on, uh, on news and it just, as you can see, stayed weak all day. So fine, uh, rather, retail was another space that was under pressure here today. Kohl's also down. Macy's breaking down under these recent lows. So as I said, uh, retail's just been a really good go-to area if you've, if you've been looking to short it. It's given plenty of opportunity. So it was, once again, a nice, uh, a nice space to be in and around. So overall, you know, we'll see how things play out. Apple 
still sideways, but has put together two days of follow through higher. We'll see if it has a third in it or not, but definitely keep an eye on Apple. Facebook also two days up here, but again, coming into some prior highs. So we'll have to pay attention as to how it responds here. Um, and then also you got Amazon, which was up and Prime Day also coming up. I don't know if we're going to see a little bit of a, of a positive move in reaction to that, uh, but definitely keep an eye on that as well. So with that, as I said, hope you guys had a great trading day and Scott will be back with you for the morning call tomorrow. Until next time, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.